Industrialization has resulted in a vast array of disposable plastic products, which generate huge amounts of trash. As the world's population grows, even more plastic garbage is thrown away. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the result of commodities consumption. It's a giant floating dumpster in the Pacific Ocean that contains nearly 3.5 million tons of trash. The Pacific Patch is actually two distinct areas, the Western Pacific Garbage Patch, located between Hawaii and Japan, and the Eastern Pacific Garbage Patch, which floats between Hawaii and California. 80% of debris in the Great Patch comes from land. The rest comes from recreational boaters and large cargo ships, which drop about 10,000 steel containers of garbage into the sea each year. 90% of this trash is plastic. Plastic bags, packaging material, bottles, and fishing nets, to name just a few. 70% of these plastics sink to the bottom of the ocean or to just below the surface. The rest floats and eventually washes up on our shores. Plastic waste is a major source of marine pollution and changes the chemical makeup of water. Plastic isn't biodegradable. The microbes that break down other substances don't recognize plastic as food, leaving it to float forever. Sunlight does eventually photodegrade the bonds in plastics, causing them to fragment. Unfortunately, this plastic debris is often mistaken for food by marine animals. Albatross are frequently found with stomachs full of plastic. Plastic bags have been found blocking the breathing passages and stomachs of many marine species. Abandoned fishing nets and six-pack bottle rings entangle animals. Plastic releases toxins and acts as a chemical sponge. It concentrates many damaging pollutants found in oceans including DDT. When broken into small pieces, plastic becomes microscopic. Toxic chemicals released by plastics are absorbed by tiny marine organisms and so enter the food chain. These chemicals then become much more concentrated than they would be in the surrounding water. As these plastics go through the food chain, the concentration of toxic chemicals rises. Jellyfish eat toxic plastic pieces, which are then eaten by larger fish that often end up being consumed by humans. Toxic chemicals cause hormone disruption. In men, this leads to serious health problems including cancer, immune system damage, behavioral problems, and reduced fertility. How long will this continue before a man realizes the damage is irreversible?